He's practicing, Eunice. My son, you just keep right on. You're doing fine, Henry. of Richmond, they fought to get by. No, where you going? Don't shoot me, man. Struggled to get out. Doing good, bro. And if they had anything left, they brought it to the court. Your boys don't need practice. They need prison. Good afternoon, young man. Are you some preacher, man? Because God ain't going to do you no good in this neighborhood. Leave the gym. I ain't scared of nobody, because I'll lay you out. I don't think so. Teachers ain't supposed to touch students. I'm not a teacher. I'm the new basketball coach. Now they have a choice. In Richmond, you're 80% more likely to go to prison than college. This contract states that you will maintain a 2.3 grade point average and you will wear ties on game day. Between surviving alone. This is basketball, man. These boys are student athletes. Student comes first. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Standing together. If one man struggles, the entire team struggles. You have an incredible gift up here. Do you realize what an opportunity that is for you to get out of here? All you gotta do is have the dream. Because I just bought that big white crib right there. My wife, Beyonce, barbecue with her G strings on. I said dream, not hallucinate. <laughs> Gentlemen, we have six players failing at least one class. We have failed each other. Put a lock on the gym and force them to meet you in the library. Coach Carter has taken the lockout to the next level by canceling last night's game, making it their first loss of the season. Coach thinks I can play college ball. I'm gonna do that and raise a baby. What are you saying? You want out? I see no changes. Basketball's the only thing that these boys have got. Now, are we gonna let Carter come in here and take that away from them? You're gonna get through this. Paramount Pictures and MTV Films present... What do I gotta do to play, hmm? Whatever you want me to do, I'll do it. One player triumphs, we all triumph, right? Woo! We're gonna finish what you started, sir. Samuel L. Jackson, Rob Brown, Ashanti. I came to coach basketball players and you became students. I came to teach boys and you became men. This is our time! Coach Carter. People to start making some changes. One, two, three. Brent, you ready? It wasn't me, it was Dad. Traitor. I'm very pleased that you're interested in the coaching job, Mr. Haskins. McCarty says you're a winner. You guys are playing like girls. <laughs> We're a small college. You'd have to live in the men's dorm with your family. Hey, coach! 
cool. That little boy loves that gate. I'm gonna leave him right there. How's it sound? Yeah, that's what it takes to coach Division One basketball, and <laughs> that's all right with me. If we're gonna win, we're gonna have to change everything, including who we recruit. Every one of these players you're looking at, they're just playground kids. They're a bunch of guys none of the big schools wanted. I see skill. I see quick. That's what I'm putting on the court. Hey! on earth's just coach bringing us coach said things around here were going to be different taco nacho burrito now i'm looking for hot dog up doesn't look like he was kidding you're here to play basketball my way and my way is hard you're my office chump we do not back down ever i will teach you teamwork i didn't think a white boy didn't chill it Pig and tested. I'll teach you discipline. You got two weeks to get your grades up, or else. Or else what? Hey, oh, Mama, who can tell me the answer? My son, Harry, can. The respect? You'll have to earn yourself. Take a look around you. This ain't Kentucky. Look at this. You ain't never gonna be like that. You quit now, you quit every day the rest of your life. You wanna shut them up, then win. From Black Disney Pictures and producer Jerry Bruckheimer. Who ever heard of Texas Western? Comes the incredible story of the team that changed the game forever. Coach Haskins is starting five black players, a first in NCAA championship history. Thank you for keeping us together, no matter what the obstacles. It's not about talent, it's about heart. It's about who can go out there and play the hardest. They're not going to give us anything. You gotta go out there and you gotta take it. Glory Road. From director James Gardner. city streets to the brink of fame. Isaiah the amazing story of two boys and two families struggling against the odds. My mother, God bless her, she's always said to me, this America, you can make something of your life. Against the system. You have to realize you can make their team win. To make a dream come true. All I ever dreamed about was playing in the NBA. People ask me, will I remember them if I make it? I tell them, will you remember me if I don't? Hoop Dreams, an extraordinary true story, a unique motion picture experience. That's my friend Cornbread. Man, he's the greatest. Beautiful, man. You are beautiful. He's the best basketball player in the city. Maybe even the world. He's a man with a plan. He's got a basketball in his hands. He's going to college. He's got offers from the pros. And everybody knows he's going to make it. Especially Earl and me. That's my cousin. Who? Can't you see? Cornbread, that's who. He is not his soul. He's cornbread. Cornbread. He's cornbread. American International presents Cornbread Earl and Me, the story of a young man with a talent. Hey, wow, what a shot. Two for bread. And a dream. Come on, Mama, look at it. Because it's going to take us off the street. He was cool. What's happening? What I? Ooh, when you going to start running numbers for me? 
soon as I get out of college, we'll have him put it in my pro contract. Cornbread runs for one eye in the off season. He was smart. What did you with your pills, man? I flushed it down the toilet. Man, your time has come. Look, I ain't got time for this. Oh. He was special. Hold it high and let it fly. He's the first boy from this neighborhood to make something out of himself. Cornbread, Earl, and me. Like Sounder, it's a story of people who never lose their dignity or their pride. Like Claudine, it's a story of family life full of love and laughter. Well, hold on. <laughs> well, Pop, you're in pretty good shape, right? He fouled me. Did you see him foul me? Like no other movie, Cornbread, Earl, and me will touch you. Shut up. I will not shut up. <laughs> and move you. No, they're not natives. It's savages. Oh, police! Oh, my God! And perhaps even shatter you. Come back here, boy! Come back here, boy! Cornbread Earl and me. Can I play? All right. You and Kelvin gets me and Jamal. Oh, man! He's a girl! Girls can't play no ball! Ball better than you. I'm gonna be the first girl in the NBA. No, I'm gonna be in the NBA. You're gonna be my chili. They play the same game. If you don't start a bad attitude, cut it for five. No one's gonna recruit you. I'm a ball player. With a jacked up attitude. They share the same dream. You'd love for him to play USC like you did, right? No, I'd love for him to get a good education. I don't know why I keep hoping you'll grow out of this tomboy thing. I won't. I'm a lesbian. <laughs> That's not funny. Man, you don't look half bad. You either. How about a little one-on-one? -on -one? Well, what are we playing for? I score, you strip. Take it off. Take it off. Oh, strip. All's fair in loving basketball, baby. There's only one way to be successful at anything, and that is to give everything. Coach has us on 11 o'clock curfew. I can stay a few more minutes. I'm sweating. I'm sorry. I don't have it easy like you, all right? There's no red carpet laid out for me. And ain't no way some soft freshman is taking my spot. Uh, Monica, hustle up! got to be there. If I stayed, I wouldn't be starting. Well, at least you got your priorities straight. Look, I'm entering a draft. I'm going pro. So that's it. Just forget about you and me. New Line Cinema presents a story about the passion it takes. I never knew anyone loved ball as much as you. To keep your dreams alive. I've loved you since I was 11, and it just won't go away. This spring, I'll play you one game, one on one. For what? Your heart. All's fair in love and basketball. Oh, uh, yeah. I got you something uh, to keep my head straight, uh, you know what I'm saying? I'll lift your head, man. Uh. Yeah. Sides. Now, I don't care if you don't believe in me, I'm gonna make it anyway. Above the Rim, a film by Jeff Pollock. Winning is fat and all of that. Losing is whack and bows that. In a place like Sunset Park, losing is a way of life. And my grandmother plays better than you, butt naked and flip flop. 
Heavy on the foul. Hey, yo, you still got that bullet in your can? Damn. Light on the score. Boy, you win, more girls. Nobody here could be a winner until they learn to play like a team. I'm Mr. Roca, I'm your new coach. I know we're going to lose every game now. On the floor! Now! Ray, you hear something? Yo, I don't hear nothing. Must have been a win. 15 minutes. Whoa! Coach is like a steel pit. <laughs> yes, Look at Andre. He won't be like Mike. Too bad he ain't. <laughs> this is gonna be our year. Y'all ain't ready. Y'all ain't ready. That was an intentional foul. Sit down. Shut up. You sit down and shut up. Man, we could be a good team if we just play like a team. Shoot! His mouth about to buy him something that his ass can't afford. But when the game is life... Shorty told me to tell you can't make it to the game. Where is he? Like his island. What happened? He said I tried to shoot some money. Winning is everything. You gotta make him play our game. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Oh. Sunset Park, you gotta represent. Like butter, baby. Uh, yes. When the world's greatest athlete, Michael Jordan, teams up with the world's best loved cartoon character, Bugs Bunny, you won't believe your eyes. Pardon me, Mr. Jordan. Can I have your auto... Uh, your John Hancock? What's going on here? We need your help! You heard of the Dream Team? Well, we're the Mean Team. Ready? Yeah! Done. Yeah. You kick it in here. You go to the hole and dominate. We own defense. Oh, yeah. Whoa. I don't play defense. Warner Brothers presents... Jordan. Look. Bunny. Special delivery! Together, they just might save the world. Space Jam. You've never seen anything like it. All his life, Calvin Cambridge... Hey, punk! ...had been pushed around. Wanna play me one-on-one? Stop it! from no challenge, and neither is Calvin Cambridge. But no matter how hard he tried... Take a number, Ox, because you're about to be served. Nothing ever changed. Until one night. Kid with something to prove. Good luck to you, all right? I know it was like that. Yeah, 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 you know it was like that. He's taking his game. Whoa! How did I do that? To a whole new level. Relax out, little man. Recess is over. Come on, little man. Come on. And hanging with the big boys. I guess this would be a bad time for me to ask you for your autograph, huh? We've got a bigger than usual crowd tonight, and a lot of it is the Knights have a new player, Calvin Cambridge. I got dogs bigger than that in my house. Stand your ground. Calvin Cambridge, you just need to get back to that sandbox where you came from. You know what fellas good for the hula. Make your move. Kids got game. Mike, Mike. So what's it like playing together? Well, um, it's been, uh... It's been great. Really great. Don't believe, please. Step, step, step up, because I'm bad like Mike. You know me. The town. Boss.
Boston. The team, the Celtics. The event, the NBA Finals. And their biggest fans are Jimmy and Mike. Uh, Taking a little break, the uh... Are you saying my toilet still isn't fixed? Oh, you gotta go! Dedicated. It's like you say, the most important thing is that they have fun. No. And faithful. This is for my grandmother. This is for the state of Massachusetts, for Celtics, for Boston. Ah, uh -uh, man. They have everything it takes. Yeah! To win the playoffs. No! Unfortunately. He's gonna shoot it every time! The Utah Jazz. I want him dead! As Lewis Scott. If he gets hot, we are in trouble. I'm on fire. Now. He's thrown it in our face. Their mission is clear. Well, if we went over there and, like, you know, got him messed up, like, you know, completely wrecked, so he was too hungover to play well on Sunday. And for Lewis Scott. Ah! Lewis Scott's in the bed. We kidnapped him. The real game ah! is about to begin. Don't make me hurt you now. Ow! Damon Wayans. May I use the bathroom? I'm not falling for that trick. Trick? What do you think? I wore a pamper here? Daniel Stern. You're still my hero. Thanks, Tommy. Not you, Dad. I met Lewis. And Dan Aykroyd. I've done something terribly wrong. And I might have to go to jail and become some bad man's boyfriend. That's nice, Peanut. Celtic Pride. Oh, the Pearl Monroe! <laughs> <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> That's going for the red team. This man's game is clean as your grandmama's chitlin. From Brooklyn, New York, we call him the Hawk. Connie, the Hawk, Hawk Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Fuck me, baby. <laughs> Hey man, if we didn't get stuck playing Mamma Jess to the goat, man, that trophy be right up here in my lap. Come on, man. Yeah, come on. Now, you know if you had a chance to be out there with Wilton Curl, your ass would be out there so fast you'd have skid marks in your drawer. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. When you're right, you're right. Don't be looking out for number one, baby, and so am I. Just scored 100 points in an NBA game. At seven foot two, some people call him the Big Dipper. But up here in Harlem, where nickel cost a dime, we call him Wilt. From Longberg Prep, the only high school athlete ever to play rocker pro. This boy can jump high as a giraffe pussy. Oh, the goat, Madagon. Oh, get it out of the goat. The goat, Madagon. School kid, take him out. Come on, school boy, 
You ain't got no hands. You ain't got no hands. Reach, reach up each. You reach up each. individuals have made the choice to work, the choice to sacrifice, put themselves on the line, represent you, this high school. This is your team. Hoosiers. They needed a second chance to finish first. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the championship game. You're not the new coach. Are you expecting somebody different? <laughs> Younger. Most incredible and improbable confrontation. Well, those of you who don't know, my name is Norman Dale. I coached college ball for 10 years, but it's been 12 years since I've blown this. In the illustrious history of the Indiana High School basketball tournament. That's a hell of a team you had there. You knew that team? I know everything there is to know about the greatest game ever invented. With a pint size hardly big enough for three syllables, Hickory Huskers enrollment 64. Out of here. Right now. You kicking me out? Yes. Don't come back until you learn to keep your mouth shut and listen. Take on the defending state champions, the mighty bears of South Bend Central. Run you off the boards. You got to squeeze them back in the paint. Make them chuck it from the cheap seats. Already calling this the game of the century. I've seen them, the real sad ones. They sit around the rest of their lives talking about the glory days. News people from all over the Middle West are here to witness Hoosierland's version of the Cinderella story. It's got to work out this time. Now that's it for good. The starting lineup for the Huskers. Well, my boys only know basketball farming in school. A basketball hero around here is treated like a god. You know, most people would kill me to be treated like a god just for a few moments. Forget about the crowds, the size of the school, their fancy uniforms, and remember what got you here. If you put your effort and concentration into playing to your potential to be the best that you can be, I don't care what the scoreboard says, at the end of the game, in my book, we're going to be winners. Let's win this and for all the small schools who never had a chance to get here. I love you guys. Team! Gene Hackman, Barbara Hershey, Dennis Hopper, Hoosiers. They needed a second chance to finish first. Any questions, stupid or otherwise? All right, Alan. Yeah, Coach, we'd like to hear your side of the basketball kicking incident. Alan, you used up your question. That was stupid. Losing season in 40 years at this university. You are not getting the kind of athletes that we used to. Yeah, but the program's clean, Chancellor. It is time to tell Coach Petey Bell to take a hike. I don't do well with losing, do I? You've won two national championships. You've won eight conference titles. I don't call this losing. What efforts are you and your staff making as far as recruiting is concerned? We got the inside track on some great ball players this year. You get those guys, you are in the Final Four next year. Right? Let's get these guys. He's never been coached. He's totally raw. Neon, um, please try not to step on the children. Okay, all right. If I couldn't play basketball, would you be trying to get me in college? No. At least you're honest. I figure a white blue chip athlete like myself deserves something extra, about about 30 grand. I'd like to have it in cash. Get the hell out of here, Rich. Get out of here. All the other schools are doing it, Coach. I know everything. I know what Butch McCray's mother wants. You really want your son to start out life by learning how to bend and break the rules. I mean, what's he going to become? A mini? I did not authorize a car for Ricky, but you did authorize the friends of the program to do what had to be done. He bought him, Charlie. I know he bought him. Gotta be on top again. Did 
you cheat. A foul is not a foul unless the referee blows his whistle. Did you take money? No! We owe them this money. Don't talk to me about money! We owe it to them! We out the projects, baby. Where we gonna live at, son? Central Park West somewhere? What you gonna buy your mama, son? House. Come on. A big house. It's the will of the man. It ain't the skill of the man. Don't be afraid of nobody. Take it. Take yeah, go it. strong, baby. Like nobody's better yes. than you. If you have a son named Jesus Shuttlesworth, and is your son considered the number one high school prospect in these United States? He's awesome, baby, with a capital A. Governor's made a request that your son seriously consider enrolling in his alma mater, big state. The governor's given me his word. He'll do everything in his power to cut your time here short. The NC2A deadline is one week away. Two parole officers will be assigned to you. Yeah, I guess I better get working now, huh? Hello, son. What did I tell you about that stranger in the house? He's not a stranger. He's our father. I don't have a father. Look, I need to talk to you. You'll see me around. The man escaped just like Shawshank. Why beat around the bush? We love you. It's $10,000. I don't need that money, Coach. You can look like Buddy Hackett and drive down the street with this and have 40 girls chasing you. Oh, oh. Jesus. <laughs> I want you to go to Big State, son. You find it in your heart to go to Big State, they may let me out on an early parole. I got that uh, arthritis thing. My brother's got the same arthritic condition. It's going around here in Coney Island. Yeah, 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 it's contagious. But Why in the hell did you name me Jesus anyway? What type of name is that? Jesus, Jesus! Biblical name. No kidding. I pray that you understand why I put you. I was the one who put the ball in your crib. I ain't no baby no more. Dear Lord. Deliver Jesus to us. People make mistakes. People veer off the path. So what? God forgives them. When will you? Never. Pull. I bet he can finally beat you. One-on-one. -on -one. And this will be the most important decision in your life. Don't blow it. You never saw me. It's not about white. Honey, I'm home. How much money did you make today? I miss you too. I'm sorry, honey. It's about green. I want to find out how good you are, chump. Come on, baby. Come on. I'm your white shadow. I have a business proposal for you, as if you don't mind hustling. What kind of hustle? <laughs> Five hundred dollars, baby, and you can pick my teammate. Give him the chump. You mean play basketball? Hey, pretty man, I got something for you. Shut your anorexic, malnutrition, tapeworm having, overdose, Dick Gregory, Bahamian diet drinking ass up. Give me my money. I see you hustle. Hey, I never use no goofy white mother. Hey, who you calling goofy white mother? You, you. Five hundred divided by two. Woo! How much do you love me? I love you, Infinity. Oh, Billy, you're so stupid. You should have said I love you, Infinity, plus Infinity. We shoot you, Billy, but first we want the money. There are rules to hustling. There's an ethics involved. Yeah, that you wouldn't know a damn thing about. <laughs> Will you explain to this Gladys Knight and the pips? It's pips! The pips! Winning and losing is all one big organic lobule. I hate it when you talk like that. You got that big Z in your fro, man. What are you, the Black Zorro? What are you doing? I'm doing two things. What? I'm making them mad. Most guys don't play good when they're mad. Look, you know you're embarrassing me. That's what you're doing. Yeah, well, that's the other thing I'm doing. I only have four words for you. White men can jump. Yeah, yeah.